you guys okay so the kingdom marriage um message is similar to the first video the first video is um no you're not crazy this is actually what's what's going on right the kingdom marriage is similar they're doing a lot of love spells right now and they're doing separation spells right now and the reason why they're doing it heavily right now is because this is the season where a lot of their rituals a lot of their um yeah a lot of their work their rituals it's like it has a stronger effect around this time because it is like halloween and a lot of them are going back to the to the books around this time like i told you guys in the other video um how we have a season where we come together as a group like with easter where we pray and stuff like that they have a season where they come together and their rituals are a lot more powerful of course not more powerful than god but this is the time where a lot of manipulation tactics are being used so I want to confirm for those going through this, you are going through, um, there's a lot of manipulation that's happening in the spiritual between you and your kingdom husband or kingdom wife. And if you guys both have the gift to hear each other with what I mean by that is you're able to see, you have your seer, you can see, and you guys both have the gift to hear each other in the spiritual realm. They're going to twist the words of both of you guys. So see, in the wow. demonic realm, words got power. The Bible says that life and death lays in your tongue Proverbs 18 21 and i know that you know we know that in the spirit realm. we know that we know that in the demonic we know in the demonic the words got power let's just say that you know because as we know with kingdom husbands and kingdom wives both parties are usually gifted and you know both parties either can hear or can see or they may have all gifts right most kingdom husbands and wives can communicate with each other without being around each other as in like they have that that spiritual connection they can communicate without being around each other and they pray for each other etc and sometimes you can hear a kingdom husband or kingdom wife talking to you in the spiritual realm and most of the times you guys share everything you guys share it because remember what god says a, a strand of three cords is not easily broken you are if you are a wife you are your husband's rib god brought me back to genesis um yesterday and he showed me something related to genesis with relating to eve and adam adam and eve and how eve is adam's rib right you are your husband's rib. If you're a husband, your wife is your rib. So when you guys come together and God ordains you guys together as kingdom husband, kingdom wife, and you both have gifts, God is going to allow you guys to be able to communicate with each other in spirit a lot of times without being around each other. And the devil likes to torment, um, the devil likes to manipulate that connection. Okay. And what they do is they try to cause, just like I said in the other video, they cause confusion with everybody else around you. They will cause confusion with you and your kingdom partner. So they'll, they'll start bringing up um, twisting dreams and they'll start bringing people. These are part of the love spells. They'll start bringing people from the kingdom wife or husband's past and they'll start bringing them into the dreams. They'll start manipulating the dreams. They'll start saying things to you to make you start questioning your relationship, to start making you question if they're faithful to you to make you start questioning if you can put up with the relationship because a lot of stuff you're seeing in the dream or spiritual realm is unbearable because you're seeing stuff from their past or you're seeing stuff from their far past and it's like i don't know if i can handle this this is unbearable they're doing a lot of that to bring sadness upon you heartbreak upon you right now because they're trying to manipulate your mind they're doing whatever they can to slow you down and most of the times if we get heartbroken we are slowed down right we are because they want to bring us sadness right come back to the spiritual realm and then, and then change the, your mind, will, emotions. Go back in and change it. And then all I made you, you was a spiritual corpse. Oh. You was a spiritual corpse after I was done because I knew, I understand words got power. So they will bring a lot of stuff to make it look like something is currently happening and will conf they'll try to confuse you and make you think it's currently happening and make you think that you can't trust your partner, your partner's hurting you. And then you'll start waking up feeling sad and questioning and everything, right? So that's what they're doing, a lot of manipulation. They're also manipulating the communication between the both of you. So if you guys can communicate in spirit, they're going to twist your words and they're going to twist your partner's words. They may say things that will hurt you and you'll think it's your kingdom husband, but it's not your kingdom husband saying it or your kingdom wife saying it. They're actually masquerading the voice, trying to pretend that they're them to try to manipulate your mind. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. Um, but if you watch the first video, no, you're not crazy. And I go into detail for detail how they actually do this stuff and what they're doing. I even put a clip of John Ramirez. I put a clip of John Ramirez explaining how he does this stuff. This is the type of ritual that they're doing. And this is what they also do to manipulate kingdom marriages. And they do a love spell on top of it. On top of that, a separation spell. Now, the main separation spell they're doing that God was showing me is that they're doing a spell. So if, 
let's just say they're mixing the ritual that I explained in the first video to cause confusion, doubts, sadness, etc. They're mixing that with a separation spell, okay? So when they do both and they mix it with a separation spell, what it's going to do is they're going to go through so much doubts, confusion about your partner. See, I could take it. I was able to take a coffin box and put your personality in it with wow. your name in there, your character in there, and watch it for 21 days, put black candles around 21 days, and then speak into your life. Whether it's cancer, speak death into wow. suicide, oppression, depression, and I was able to transfer that into the to the natural man of who you were. Then you're gonna start to say, I don't even know if I want to be with this person no more. I don't know if I want to get married anymore because of all the things that they're manipulating and showing you in the spiritual realm, showing you in your dreams to make you think this person's not being honest, to make you think this person don't love you, to make you think the worst about this person. So after you're seeing all this, you know, um, tormenting things, after you're seeing all of this traumatic stuff in the dreams that you, because nobody wants to see their partner cheating on them. Nobody wants to hear anything relating to that. Nobody wants to see the exes coming up to them oh i did this with your person I did that with your person in the spiritual realm nobody wants to see all that that's hurtful right so once they do all they're, they're very strategic what they're doing once they start doing all of that now your mind starts to go crazy while they're doing that mind ritual right and as they're doing that now you start questioning things you start going into doubt you start going to sadness and then guess what happens then there's the effect of their separation spell, right? Now you're starting to think, I don't know if I should be with this person anymore. I don't know if I want to be with this person anymore. I don't, I don't know if I want to marry this person no more. Maybe I should just let this person go, et cetera, et cetera. Now they're getting you to want to separate yourself from the person because of all the stuff they're already manipulating and showing you. Are you guys, are you guys like, you know, catching on to what's going on? Are you guys like really, how do I explain it, God? How do I explain it? Are you guys, um... I don't know how to say it, but I was going to say, like, how are you guys, like, taking in what I'm saying to you? Like, do you guys understand what I'm telling you, right? So they're doing it in layers, and they're doing it in, like, in an organized type of way. They have to show you traumatic things first to hurt you. They have to they have to make you think these traumatic things are happening now, okay? They have to make you start to have trust issues again. They have to make you start doubting it. And then when they start doing all that... Then they go and do the separation spells to make you question whether you want to be with the person or not. Then you're like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to be with the person no more. That's what they're doing right now. So like I tell you guys all the time, take everything to God. I actually saw last night a lot of what they're doing. And I witnessed a lot of what they're doing. One of the ways they got caught is I literally heard them masquerading my voice and saying something that I never said to make me look bad. And I heard them do I caught them doing it. But... It was to make my kingdom husband hear that, right? I also caught them showing my 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 photo or showing my picture and saying something negative along with it that wasn't true. So if someone is seeing it from an, from another end, right, and they have gifts, they would think that something is being revealed about me or something like that, right? So I, I witnessed that with my kingdom partner. Like we both witnessed it together. Okay, we witnessed it together, and. That's what they're doing, manipulation tactics. We understand this stuff, but a lot of you guys don't understand this stuff. And this is what causes separation. This is what causes breakups in marriages. If you watch Jam Ramirez, he talks about in a video that he does things like this to separate marriages. He says that he sends Jezebel spirits to break up marriages. Well, I know how to release, uh, uh, you know, in, in the marriages. I know how to release discord in the marriages, division in marriage, divorce, hus spirit husband, spirit wife. I, I will release the uh, spirit of lust in, in the marriage. I could destroy the marriages. That's what they do when they do these rituals. They send spirits that can masquerade as exes, as women from your your husband's past, women or men from your past. They masquerade as these people. They come in your dreams, and then they make it seem like the person is doing something with them. The person is current with them. Sometimes they will masquerade as your husband, as your wife, and then they'll masquerade as an ex or as someone else, and they will do things in front of you in a dream and make you think that's actually happening, and you caught them, and then you're waking up with heartbreak, you're sad, all of that, not realizing those were masquerading spirits trying to manipulate you trying to affect your emotions to get you to walk away from this person you get it okay there's a movie called inception in inception you're gonna see in this movie that there's a scene where this blonde woman walks up to the bar leaving And she starts talking to this guy. And as she's talking to this guy, she's stealing his wallet. It's like, it's like a pocket 
pocket thief or you know when they steal a person's wallet when a person's not paying attention and then she walks off funny way to make friends someone stealing your wallet like that <laughs> and then as she goes in the elevator right she meets up with her her um her ally the person that's that's teamed up with her and he doesn't even recognize her and then when he meets she meets up with this person in the elevator she transforms into the original person she was so can i have a moment oh, oh, i'm sorry about that wait you look a bit back here very amusing it seems it's so deep guys listen it's a layered warfare it's an organized warfare these people are so organized okay they're so organized with their stuff and you're probably like steph you're giving them too much credit no i'm telling you the truth okay if you really watch jam ramirez's video he talks about how they they spend more time in demon church than most christians do in a regular church they spend more time praying to the devil than most people pray to god like i'm keeping it real i i wit i'm witnessing a lot of this stuff and I saw a lot of it last night and God allowed me to witness it. God allowed it all to be revealed to me last night so I can see their tactics. And I'm warning you guys about it because a lot of you guys are like, I don't know if I want to be my kingdom husband no more or a kingdom wife anymore. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm having dreams about this. I'm having dreams about that. And a lot of the dreams that you're having, these people are being are masquerading as people from their past. They're masquerading and they're trying to make it seem like it's current or trying to make it seem like they're still having feelings for this person to try to get you to be heartbroken. And then now that they're you're heartbroken and their manipulation tactic kind of worked in that sense to mess with your emotions, now they start doing their separation spells to make you feel like you want to pull yourself away from them. I could see it all. I'm telling y'all. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Watch the first video I just posted prior to this this is a tactic that they do they know how to send jezebels okay they can also manipulate people and send these people they if people if if it says in um oh god what's that scripture there's a i forgot the the script like the actual um book but there's a scripture that says god does not tempt the devil tempts okay they the devil can actually manipulate people who already have a cold heart who already are jezebels or who are already operating through that jezebel spirit the devil can tempt these types of people he can use these types of people the devil knows who is in your life the devil knows who's in your husband's life or in your wife's life the devil knows what type of women your husband used to deal with in the past what type of men you used to deal with in the past the devil knows all this right so the devil can either use these individuals if they if he the devil knows okay that that husband that husband has an ex that still wants him that uh, that husband's ex has a jezebel operating through her you know what i'm gonna use her because i know she hates the wife do you get it so i'm the devil's like i'm gonna use her to seduce him so the devil is going to use that person in that moment manipulate that person to to seduce the husband in a dream or a vision or whatever and the devil's going to make sure ensure that it's a blatant disrespect in front of you to ensure that you see it to, to trigger you do you get it if the devil can't manipulate the person to actually do it that's when the devil's going to use a masquerading spirit to masquerade as that person do you get it so it's the same concept with the men the devil will do that with the wife and then what will happen is you will end up seeing it because either you'll sit in the spiritual realm or you will see it in the dream state and it's it's to mess like i said before it's to mess with your emotions okay so they can send jezebels and the jezebels can masquerade the jezebel spirits can masquerade or they can actually use a person that already has that jezebel spirit operating through them okay and it's just more manipulation to mess with your emotions so you can think about pulling yourself away from the person and then you start second guessing you start doubting the connection you start saying i don't want to be with the person no more and that's that that's the part of the separation ritual the separation spell that they're doing around this time they're doing it because they see kingdom marriages are coming together remember i told you guys about kingdom marriages you guys are a force you guys are a force right so i'm telling you guys this is this because i've been through this stuff and i'm I, I was going through it and god actually allowed me to wait because i was going through it for a couple of days and i wasn't sure what was going on I'm like what's going on like why am i feeling this way and you'll start feeling like a pull away from your partner like you feel like okay maybe I shouldn't be with this person anymore. I don't want to be with this person no more. You start pulling feelings. So like it feels like something's like pulling you away from them. And then what happened last night was I prayed and asked God for clarity, and God actually showed me last night 
every single thing that they are doing. He allowed me to witness it. And I'm like, wow, I'm witnessing them even pretending to be me and, and saying things that I'm not even saying on purpose to hurt my partner. Do you get it? So that's what they're doing, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.